Hey everyone, Vincent here from creativedejo.net and today's video tutorial, we're going to be covering how to create this glitch effect in After Effects with no third party plugins, no external scripts, and 100% built in After Effects. So we can control pretty much everything in post production with this convenient control null object right here where we control pretty much the, all the aspects of this glitch twitch effect, all within After Effects with these convenient little sliders. And we're going to be doing this with some basic parenting expressions. Don't worry, they're very basic and you're going to love them. And it's a very stylized effect nowadays and very, very common in motion graphics, especially with the abstract MoGraph renders that you guys are using right now. With very common nowadays and actually pretty easy to create. So let's just take a look at what this is real quick. So obviously this thing is a little bit emphasized. It's kind of overdone a little bit. So you can kind of see the point, kind of see the effect a little bit more clearly. Of course, you're not going to be using this much Twitch in your projects. I hope not. But it's a very nice way to kind of give your animations or your projects kind of this nice organic kind of twitchy effect. Great for those sci-fi films and such. So let's just hop into After Effects here and take a look at how we create this in After Effects. Let's create a new composition right here. We're going to name this Source Media Comp. And 720p seems fine, 10 seconds long, hit OK. And the purpose of this composition is simply just, just as a container for our media files. So if you want to twitch an image, just bring an image in here. If you want to twitch a, a video file, just bring a video file in here. Or if you want to twitch another composition or another project, just bring it and drop it into this composition right here. But pretty much this composition serves as a placeholder for your uh, media. So just drag in your media into this composition right here. I have a pre-made image right here. I'm just going to twitch this image right here. So I'm going to drag it into the source media comp. So this comp is pretty much just for your media to twitch. So now let's create an actual composition where we're going to be applying all this glitching effect too. So let's create a new composition right here and we're going to name this glitch effect. And this is where we're going to build our effect in the glitch effect composition. So first let's bring in our source media comp. Remember, this is just a composition with our image in it that we want to twitch around. So nothing's really happening. And the first thing we're going to do is we got to split the RGB channels. Now in this demonstration right here, you can kind of see that we have this nice RGB split going on. We have some light flickering. We have some wiggle in the position. And we can just kind of just have this organic kind of twitching effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split the RGB channels. So unfortunately in After Effects, there really isn't a great way to separate the RGB channels. So what we gotta do is we gotta shift the channels a little bit. So we gotta type in shift and bring in the shift channels effect into the source media comp. And nothing really happens. We're gonna change everything to off, full off for the red, full off for the green, and full off for the blue. So everything is off. We have no RGB at all right now, no color. We're gonna duplicate this composition twice. So hit control command D twice or select your layer and go to, uh, I believe it's edit and duplicate. So we just have three of our same media comp. So I'm going to name this first one R for red, G for green and B for blue. All right. So I'm going to color code this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click on the little square right here and select a red for the red, select the green rectangle or a square for the green layer and select the blue little square for the blue layer. All right, now that we have everything color coded, it just makes things a little bit easier to manage. So let's go down to the red layer right here click on the red layer and make sure that since this is the red layer, we want to take our red from and select the red channel. Let's go down to the green channel and take the green from the green and go down to the blue channel or blue layer and take the blue from the blue. So we pretty much manually just kind of separated the RGB channels separately with three duplicates of the same layer. So our first layer is just the red, our second layer is just green, and the third layer is just blue. So we kind of just separate them manually. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit P on the keyboard and we're, and we're pretty much going to set up the kind of shifting or wiggling or sliding effect of the twitch effect. So let's go ahead and create a new null object. So let's go to layer, new, null object. And we're gonna name this control. And we're gonna be controlling all of our twitching and glitching in this control null object. So let's go down to the effects and presets and bring in some expression controls, slider controls. We're gonna bring one in. We're gonna name this slide amount. Duplicate it, 
call this flickering or flicker amount. Uh, let's name this flicker frequency. Duplicate it. We're going to name this brightness. Duplicate it. And we're going to name this one blurriness. And finally, bring in a color control under the expression controls. Bring that in. And we're just going to call this light color. And this is going to be our ambient kind of flickering light color of our flicker. Let's bring that up here. So we have our basic parameters right here. They're all set up. We're going to go and just bring down the toggle down here. And just hit the tilde key to make some room right here. So if we go to the effects, you'll see that we have all of our sliders and color controls are right here. I'm going to open all of them up just for conveniency. So we have all this. So we want to wiggle our position. So let's go ahead and hit hold alt or option and just click on the stopwatch. And then we're going to type in our expression wiggle parentheses five times a second comma and usually we would have been a value right here but instead we're going to parent or pick whip the slider amount so instead of having a constant number right here we're going to be controlling this number with a uh, changing slider amount right here and we just hit away and then we're going to copy the expression for the rest of the layers so hit p on the keyboard alt click paste it in alt click and paste it in so now nothing's really moving right now because our control layer has a slider amount of zero. So we hit it up to maybe 10. You can see that our layer kind of twitches around a little bit. And the reason why we can't see anything or any uh, separation of RGB and we only see red is because we need to set our transfer mode or our blending modes to an appropriate blending mode. So I'm going to change the R layer to screen as well as the green to screen and the blue to screen. So already you start to see kind of this kind of glitchy effect going on. So if I set the slider amount to zero, you see no RGB split because all the RGBs combine together to create our nice solid colors right here. But if we kind of just start to move them around, you can kind of see that all of our red, green, and blue layers are kind of moving independently and kind of moving randomly. So we can have this separation of color going on right here. I'm going to set it back down to about 20. So now we have our slide amount done. We need to control our flickering amount. So let's create a new adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer. And we're just going to name this flicker. And this is going to be where all of our flickering parameters are going to go. So I'm going to bring a color contrast, I believe, or contrast, brightness and contrast. Bring that into the flicker. All right, so now we kind of have to set a nice lighting or ambient lighting for our Twitch effect. So this kind of changes depending on what you want. But I'm going to pull up my brightness to about maybe around 45 and kind of pump up the contrast a little bit. So we essentially kind of create this kind of brightness going on. And this is going to be kind of our light. So now we want to parent the flicker amount to the uh, wiggle amount of the flicker. So we're going to hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. So we're pretty much going to be playing around with the opacity of this adjustment layer. Hit alter option and let's type in our wiggle expression once more. So wiggle, open parentheses, and then for our frequency amount, we're going to pick up the frequency slider, comma, and then pick up our flicker amount slider, and then just close the parentheses again. So now we can control the opacity, frequency, and the opacity amount by our slider right here. Now we got to control the brightness. So let's go to the brightness and parent that brightness to our brightness slider. All right. So now if we go to our control layer, we can control the slide amount by our slider right here, slide amount slider. We can control the flickering amount by pumping the flicker amount up and the frequency up, as well as the brightness. So if we want more brightness, we can just pump up the brightness. Kind of like that. So I'm going to set the slider amount back to 20 
set the flicker amount to about five, kind of twitch the opacity about 5%, and the flicker frequency about five times its second as well. So right now our light is kind of white because we just played around with the uh, brightness. So we want to kind of tint our, our light a little bit, a nice little warm color. So I'm going to bring in a tint effect, drag that in, and then we want to parent the map white to, to our light color. As you see here, now our light is red and it's because our control light color is set to red. If we set our control layer to a nice orange color, you can kind of see what it does here. And that's a little bit too much, so we're gonna go down to the flickering again and just lower down the amount to tint. We only want it to tint a little bit, so maybe around 34% is fine for me. So what do we have left? We have to adjust and connect the blurriness slider which is quite easy. So we're pretty much done with the slide amount. We can close these. We just need to focus on the blurriness. So let's create another new adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer. We're gonna call this blur. And you can use whatever blur you want. I guess a directional blur would work as well, but I'm gonna use a box blur. I don't usually use this kind of blur, but I think it looks great for this kind of twitchy effect. Drag the box blur into the blur adjustment layer and let's just blur it out see what it looks like and as you can see it kind of creates this nice kind of box blur hence the name for our glitch that look looks a little more realistic for our data glitch and then we're just gonna hit repeat edge pixels kind of remove this kind of black around our image so that's looking pretty good for twitching effects now we don't want it to be blurry all the time we want to animate this blur and we want to connect the blur radius to our blurriness slider so just alt click and drag the blur blur radius to our blurriness slider. Great. So now we have pretty much have everything hooked on. We can control the blurriness now by the slider. Just like that. And now your control layer is ready to be used in animation. So I'm gonna drag up to the top so I'm just gonna hide these layers right now. I'm gonna go toggle switches and just kind of shy our layer. It's another kind of gone. Make sure this is checked. We're gonna hide these layers. They're still in existence, but they're not shown in our, our layer stack right here. So now we just have our red, green, blue channel with our control layer. And we can simply just animate the blurriness as so. So now your control layer is pretty much set to be used with your animations. You can animate everything and keyframe everything just using the control slider. So very, very convenient. Now, if you wanted to twitch the effect in one direction, like the X and Y direction, or you just want to twitch it in the X direction, or you just want to twitch it up and down, you can actually do this very easily by editing the expression for the wiggle controls. So if you hit U on the keyboard, you can bring up expression right here. And rather than using this, we can just add a open bracket right here to start our array. And this is pretty much the X. So we're gonna type in the wiggle expression and then just type in zero, comma. And for our Y position, we just wanna keep it the same and then close the array with another bracket. Simple like this. So pretty much our X is using the wiggle and our Y is just staying the same because we just parented the uh, pick whip to the Y direction. So it's gonna stay the same. And we can copy this expression to the rest of the layers. And now our wiggle should only apply in the X direction. And as you can see, it kind of does. It just kind of shakes to the left and right. And of course, if you want to do it up and down, you can just manipulate the equation where the wiggle amount is on the, in the Y direction rather than the X direction. Very simple. I'm just gonna pump up the amount a little bit more. Now the problem with this effect is you can kind of see that because it moves our layers around, we kind of have this empty gap right here because basically it's pretty much moving our layers around. So we don't have any layers in the background right here because they're moving around. And you can simply go around this by either scaling up your layers, which I usually do this. Kind of just get up to 120%. Kind of 
kind of makes the image big enough so if it moves, it still kind of stays in frame. Or you can apply the, I believe it's called motion tile. Just bring it in, the R layer. And let's just increase the output width. So it pretty much just duplicates your, your X direction. So just copy this motion tile to the green and copy the motion tile to the blue. So it's pretty much expanding um, the layers left and right. And of course you can expand the height as well if you wanted to, but in my case, I'm just wiggling in the X. So all I need to do is expand the X, the Y should be fine. And we pretty much create our nice organic kind of twitching effect, all within After Effects, but some basic expressions and parenting. So guys, that's pretty much it. This is how you create the nice glitch effect in After Effects with no third party plugins, purely After Effects and some basic parenting and expressions in After Effects. Thanks for watching guys. I hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I've helped you kind of kind of start to like the expressions and linking everything together and kind of creating this nice null control layer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching guys. Thanks for all the support and I'll see you guys next time.